as students we will going to discuss about one more time in function calling aspects of function calling so in this you can able to see a function with arguments function with arguments but no return value you can see very clearly with arguments nothing but you will going to give the inputs but you will not going to return the answer to the main function so in the user defined function only you will going to execute the process nothing but answer you will get to get there only in the user defined function only so that's what with arguments but no return value so we will going to see the definition here when a function has a arguments it receives any data from the calling function any kind of data it may be a character it may be an array anything and it will going to receive the data from the calling function but returns no values because it will going to execute in the user defined function only that is the reason why it will not going to return no values this is very important return no values you will going to see the syntax so syntax is very simple you can see this one function declaration so this is void function so now you can able to see this this is input time but i am passing the arguments in the function call function call x is an argument here argument i am pa uh, passing here again come back to the function definition see in the function definition in the function definition void function name so here you can able to see these are all called as formal arguments okay i am giving the actual argument as a x here that is input again that x is copied to the formal arguments integer x okay based on the arguments we will going to design the program here we will going to execute the statements over here only this is what we will going to do in the function with arguments but no return value we will going to see the program one program example you can able to see the example here just i will going to show the function uh, function calling function so that is sum is equal to a comma b i will going to pass the value of a and b okay through the end user so that a and b values will be passed to the you can able to see void sum is a uh, function name user defined function name again integer a integer b the value of a and b will be copied to the integer a and integer b here again it will be calculated again you will going to get the answer over here only that is what it will going to happen in this again one more example also you can able to see same one so uh, uh, average you wanted to find the average of any n value n values a b c d is the uh, variables you will going to give the values to divide by 5 So you are going to get the mean value. So that's what you are going to pass the parameter here. Average is a function name. So A B C D E. Oh, there are five variables here. Okay, five parameters you are passing here. Five variables you are passing. So that variables will be copied over here. Integer A B C D E. So that will be calculated, and now you can able to find the mean value again. Find the mean value. This is what we are going to happen. So we are going to see the scenario, uh, real scenario about this. Let's take an integer here. So in the code blocks, this is C code for function with argument. I'm giving the argument inputs, but no return value is going to be uh, uh, given to uh, result is not given to main function. That's what. So first, what I will going to do, I will going to declare a variable that is integer. Let's take integer. I'm going to take a variable. Sorry, integer is a data type here. A is a variable. Is equal to I will going to take twenty. Simple one. I will going to take it. Again, what I am going to do? I will going to write um, like I will going to take array here. Okay. It's, uh, we have seen lot of integer all those things, but uh, I will going to take an array here. So that is the uh, best example. So I am making little bit, uh, little bit uh, different kind of uh, variables I will going to use. So let's take integer. So I will going to say array. That is uh, a r r. i will take a r r r so you take like put only r again r how you going to define the r with square bracket a r r c you uh, keep in your mind a r r c it's an r okay so i will going to take a where size is 5 so this is how you going to declare the r again that is equal to direct declaration i will going to do here so direct declaration like uh, i will going to give some values 10 comma 
20 comma 30 comma uh, 40 comma again 50 comma five values i am giving so just i missed comma over here okay five uh, five values are given semicolon now what you have to do again i will going to give one more variable one more uh, variable i'm going to take it so that is character 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 uh, i will going to take string str so i will going to take string str here what i will going to do i will going to create a string array so that's the reason why i will going to uh, create an array for strings that is the reason why size i will going to give 30 here i will going to write when you are writing the string that is equal to so you have to write any string within the double quotes that is very very important what i will going to do i will going to mention uh, and I, just check okay so this is fine i think okay this is my string okay i think everyone are clear yes or not it's fine so i'm taking an integer a is equal to 20 again array a r r c you take it array so five the size is 5 10 20 30 40 50 direct uh, declaration i'm doing again string as an array so that is i uh, given the string that is names stick okay fine now i'm going to take a function function is necessary because as per them a definition you can able to see uh, a function with argument with argument so you have to pass the parameters here nothing but inputs we have to pass so that is the reason why i will going to say uh, here um, like uh, uh, i will going to take anything like function name any function name like uh, i will going to take windows windows is my function name let me write in small letter lowercase windows is my function name so in that function what i will going to do i will going to pass the parameters of e again uh, array again string arc again string character all these things i will going to pass one by one so here what i will going to pass first i will going to pass the integer that is a comma again i will going to pass the address of address of arc variables we have to pass because i am converting these things into pointer that's why i'm taking the address over here as per the call by the value reference okay call by value is there again call by reference is there i am using call by reference here that is the reason why i'm taking the address over here i think it's fine okay again size mention the size that is zero comma again uh, you have to mention one more string is there address of str it should be very clear str again array that is zero zero with semicolon so this is my calling function okay i think it's very clear okay so no need to worry so this is very clear right again we're going to write the function that is my window windows function that's why void i'm not returning anything that's why i'm taking void so that's windows windows here so i'm going to take inputs and we have given the inputs integer a again array again string so that's why integer a i will want to take it so you it is left to you you so whatever you want it you can able to take it no problem with that you can take the inputs like this integer you can uh, copy the value of a value to any uh, variable that is it is left to you what variable you wanted to choose that is it is left to you guys it's uh, not recommended like that you have to go with the a like that so that is uh, just i will going to take uh, uh, z okay comma again uh, i will going to take uh, this one so that is array so here what i will going to do so anyway we can able to see the size is five again arc it's an array so that's why i will going to create a pointer over here so that's fine pointer integer again pointer of uh, pointer of pointer of, we are going to create a pointer star b it's a pointer now this b is pointing at the array arc array okay so it is pointing there again one more thing we have declared that is string that's why i will going to take the character here character again for this also i will going to 
create a pointer so character pointer this is again star uh, a b uh, z b uh, again i will going to c i will want to mention c so this is my inputs here so this is my formal arguments what i'm going to do here i wanted to print all the values that's why so anyway it is an array means you have to use the loop that is the reason why i am going to create a variable here that is i variable for loop so after creating the i variable so what i will going to do i will going to print here so the right here okay. i will going to print the value print f so here you can able to say z okay i will going to print the value of z so first thing i will going to print that one so that is value of uh, z is equal to z is equal to percentage d it is an integer again next line i will going to mention so variable please after that mention the variable that is more than enough i think it's clear again what we have to do we have to create a loop because we have a file size is five that's why for loop i will going to create i wanted to print it that is the reason why i will going to use the for loop here i will going to starts from zero i is equal to zero initially the array uh, index starts from zero that's why i is equal to zero semicolon again i is you can able to do like this i is less than or equal to four because we have uh, let me show you clearly see uh, suppose uh, i think like this is an array and uh, so five locations basically you know size is five location one location two again location memory location three again memory location four totally five is there so when you start from here so the index you can able to see the index is zero okay so half that index will become one again index will become two again index will become three three here again index will become four so totally we have five size is five the array size is five so index starts from zero one two three four that's why you can able to use like this otherwise if you want it otherwise you can able to use that is less than or equal to four or less than five so that is uh, up to your standards again finally i will going to increment the value here i space i think uh, you guys don't have doubts over here so one by one what i will going to do one by one i will going to print the value here so that is what i will going to do here so that is the reason why what you have to do it's very simple so you have to use the function that is the function is that is print a function use this print f okay so now what we have to do here i have to print the value of i uh, nothing but looping uh, step by step looping i have to print as well as i wanted to print the array size array uh, uh, array index also i wanted to print that's why here i will going to write value of array a r r c it's here for that i am writing but uh, here what i took that is the uh, input is b that's why i'm going to write b here b of array b of array so percentage d okay again close the bracket so whatever the value it will uh, zero one two three like that it will going to start so is yeah percentage d percentage d again next line so because i wanted to print both the values i values as well as uh, array uh, array uh, values as well okay so now semicolon just uh, print i comma b of b of that is very important because we took the inputs in b not in arc so then i that's it i think it's clear fine now what we have to do close this one so before that anyway uh, we haven't opened the uh, body just open the body so we forgot to open the body and close the body here so just close the body so finally i have one more 
So that is a string. Okay, just I wanted a string. No need to use the for loop on all those things. It's not required here. So that is the reason why I just print like this. Print f percentage percentage. Uh, you have to use the uh, format specifier. That is uh, just I will want to write value of value value of, of string is string uh, that is percentage yes next line just mention the c variable okay so that's it let me compile this one compile and check now we are going to compile this one i think we don't have any error so next line okay fine so let's see this and uh, i see the output See, we can able to see here. Let me compile once again. I will make you string is equal to. See now you can able to see here. Okay, very clear. So I am passing the variables here. Mm -hmm. See, I am passing the variables here. So a array and st are string. Okay. So I am giving the values. So I yeah, Windows. Windows is my function. So I am passing the a again array c again string all those things by creating the pointer here. So a value will be passed to z nothing but copied. Array value will be copied to b again string value will be copied to c. So here I am printing the value of a here that is z. Okay. So a value is copied to z, z is I am printing here. So just I wanted to print all the values of array. That is the reason why I have to uh, i value, i index. So 0 to i less than 5. So anyway, it will go to up to 0 to 4. Again, increment it. Each and every value will be printed. You can able to 0, 0, of 0 in 0 index, you can able to see 10. So same thing, 10, 20 in 1. Uh, again, uh, 30 in 2, 40 in 3, again 15 in 4, like that. So again, finally, you can able to print the string also. So directly, you can able to print percentages again C. So that is the format specifier for the string. If it is a single character, you must use percentage C. But here, yeah, it is a string. That's why I'm using percentages. Again, we missed one more important thing is that is very important one. Declaration. We forget on the declaration. So don't forget this one. This is very important. So I will want to take the inputs over here. So I will want to say the compiler to what type of uh, input you are taking like this that's why wide just mention wide so here uh, what i took windows function name is windows again so here input is very very important first thing is as usual integer comma again one more we have taken that is array type that's why so i will go to write integer array you mentioned the array here array again here one more thing is character that is also array type that's why i am mentioning array here so this is how you need to declare the prototyping so this is power declaration as well as prototyping uh, prototyping declaration everything so this is all about giving the with arguments no written value i think everything is clear thank you thank you very much